These are four obscure products that I use for photography and editing, and I think that you may enjoy some of these for yourself. They make your workflow a lot easier, and uh, some of them just don't make a lot of sense. So let's hop right in. This is the Loop Deck. It's amazing. It is great. One thing though, is that I can't take this and travel. So I decided to use something like the X-Pen, which is this small and has completely replaced my Loop Deck. I get to use all of the same functionality. It's got really nice clicks too. And you can set this up however you want, which is great because it comes with a software that allows you to make it the way that you want it to be and edit the way you want it to be. It's connected via Bluetooth and also USB-C to charge and you can sync it up with your computer using USB-C if you don't want to use Bluetooth. This tool is not made for Lightroom. However, it works with Lightroom and I've scoured the internet and nobody really talks about it. So I thought this was a very unique find. It's only $50 on Amazon and the loop deck was 300. So I think this is a great tool to have uh, to quickly call and edit your images, especially if you're traveling. This is a must have in my opinion. Sometimes it does give you a few issues with the Bluetooth connectivity. So that's just something to look out for with this thing. It is cheaper, so you can't expect too much from it, but it is really nice to use and it works pretty well. Nine times out of 10. And this brings me to my next product. The VS Go or the Versus Go or the VS Go, not really sure, but this is a blower for many things. I have used it for sensor cleaning and I've used it for cleaning just dust off of my desktop and camera lenses. This thing has three different modes and I would suggest using number one on the sensor. This is two. And this is three. Very, very, very powerful. Oh, and not to mention this thing also works as a hairdryer. If you get stuck in a situation where you don't have power, uh, I would definitely recommend it to somebody with medium or shorter hair. Uh, so yes, that is something that you can always do with this too. And honestly, I don't know why the hell you would buy this unless you just had some money laying around but the light on it is really cool too. So you can see the things that need to be cleaned and it's modular. You can disassemble this very easily and throw it into a bag and it's not a problem. It is charged by USB-C and on the bottom you have the amount of power that you wanna use, the on off switch and then the light on here as well. And it also comes with a lot of different attachments which is really cool and it comes with a filter so you don't bring anything from the outside into your sensor which is amazing. This next product I use, I'm actually using right now, and I think that everyone should have one of these. It's a circular polarizer ND filter, which is amazing to have because we have variable with hard stops. As you can see, dark, light, and then if we turn it a little bit more, you can see the reduction of highlights, and that's quite awesome. And when I take it off my camera, you can obviously see that everything is blown out and we're gonna have to stop. So yes, this is by Hyatta, and I'm not sure if I say that right, but I did a video on it linked here. Uh, I would highly recommend checking it out, and if you don't have one of these, it's great for car photography, getting rid of reflections. You can shoot through windshields very easily. Um, you can shoot through windows, water, and uh, it actually increases your dynamic range from your camera because it cuts down all the highlights in the skies. It looks really, really great whenever you use one of these. So I recommend this one. I'm linking all this stuff below. I'm not being paid to say anything, by the way, uh, but I have not stopped using this since I received it. Uh, but shout out to Hyatta for sending this filter because I freaking love this thing. And I'm gonna put it back where it belongs. So I think that docs are overrated because I like to see both of my screens at one time and it helps because I like dual monitors. And this is, a really good way to mitigate having a dock and it gives you three USBs, one USB-C and an HDMI. Uh, so yeah, it's been really great and uh, I've enjoyed having this uh, because it's easy to travel with um, and you can see both screens and I think it's really important to do that. And we're not out of the world of USB yet. I still USB quite often 
Uh, so having these is very helpful for my workflow. Yeah, it's just great, fast, uh, portable, which is very important to me. So these are four things that I think that you should definitely check out if you have it. Uh, I think my favorite would definitely be the XD pen. Uh, it is really, really freaking awesome. Everything I've seen about the XD pen online is mostly about illustration and things that you would do with a digital pen. Uh, so knowing that I could, I could change this into a tool that I could use for Lightroom every day is very exciting to me. And I also really like the blowing tool, which is a little absurd because it is expensive, but it works really, really freaking well. And um, yeah, I wish they would give you a bag that you could put on the back of the opposite side so you could actually turn it into a vacuum, which would be sick. So maybe they'll make an attachment for that, for like a little desk cleanup. Instead of blowing stuff around, you could actually suck it up. So anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this short video on weird things that I have. And uh, thanks for watching Get Weird With It. I'll catch you guys next time. Peace. Like you can tell the leaves in the background right now, I'm like killing this, the reflection off of them. It's like, I mean, it really is. It's an amazing, it really is an amazing tool.